From a shared student house in Swansea, Sharifat Abu Bakar is weighing up what her masters in Wales has cost her and how much it's really worth. My tuition fees is a lot. It's in millions by my home currency, you know. So it's it's like I literally put all of my savings into the program. Sharifat's lost track of how many jobs she's applied for since finishing her degree. From jobs in her specialty, public health, to care work, the response is always the same. They always like, oh, unfortunately, you haven't been, so been successful this time. Like, I don't even get shortlisted for interviews. According to a charity supporting international students and to work, Wales is losing skilled people it desperately needs to keep. We are having a brain drain crisis in Wales because we are beginning to lose potential human capital. I think there's an unconscious bias within the system that needs to be addressed. Although it's hard to know if bias plays a part, the numbers are stark. 50% of UK students who'd graduated from Welsh universities were in full-time jobs 15 months after finishing their undergrad. But for international students, it was just 34%. The gap narrows when you look at those with postgrad degrees, but these latest figures come from students who graduated before the pandemic, and there are fears COVID could have made things worse. Vipa was a dentist for 17 years in India before she moved to Swansea for a master's. She knew she'd need to sit an exam to practice dentistry in Wales, but the pandemics put that on hold. Everything came to a standstill in terms of the examinations, and that created a lot of backlog. And on the other hand, you've got so many patients who are waiting. The average international student pays up to £18,000 a year to study in Wales. In 2019, the UK government set an annual target of attracting 600,000 international students by 2030. They met that target 10 years early. But with each one paying so much, some fear it's all about attracting the students for financial gain instead of looking out for their futures. It's looking really good numbers wise. Equally, I think what, what isn't matched is the, the focus and, and the resource that's put into graduate outcomes and supporting international graduates into employment in the UK. Today, the Welsh Government announced a new plan to get people into work and acknowledged a need for change, given the stats we presented them with. Well, that reflects on some of the challenges and some of the bias that we still have within our country. I don't believe that those figures match uh, a potential where you say that those people don't really have the skills that the qualifications say they do. But Sharifat feels her potential is getting her nowhere. She left her daughter in Nigeria to study here. Without a job, the future is uncertain.